Hey guys, how's it going? It's Janie over here at Janie Sleeps and in this episode I'm coming at you with a tutorial on how I made this retro 1950s cake inspired by the pink ladies from the movie Grease. So if you want to learn how to make it, keep on watching. So to begin with, I am going to grab my 6 inch cake and I'm going to cover it in some pink fondant. Um, just pulling out all the seams and making sure that it adheres to my cake. Then grabbing a pizza wheel, I'm going to cut off the edges. And then I'm going to use my fondant smoothers to create sharp edges because I wanted that look, but you can definitely leave it more rounded if you don't want to. Um, then using a circle cutter and some black fondant, I'm going to create four records. Um, I guess you call them disc or plaques, I don't know. It's the little retro CDs. <laughs> Um, and I'm going to cut out four of them and once that's done, I'm going to use a smaller uh, circle cutter with some pink fondant rolled out thinner and I'm going to cut out the middle of, their of the circles. Then using some gum glue, I'm going to use that to adhere the uh, pink part to the black part. What I don't show here is that I made two in pink and then two in white because I wanted a little bit of contrast on the cake, but you can definitely leave it just one color. Um, now, to make the jukebox machine, I realized I said the word sausage <laughs> one too many times. Um, so I'm just going to let you see what I'm doing because it's kind of hard to explain. So yeah, just follow along. <laughs> Now there's really no right or wrong way to make a jukebox machine. I realize that this doesn't even look like a real one anyway, but I just uh, googled an image and just went with it and yeah, so this is the one I came up with. Now to cover your board, I wanted to go with a fun checkerboard um, pattern. So I've rolled out some black fondant, very thin, and then I'm going to cut a bajillion squares out of it. I almost said circle there. Uh, a bajillion squares out of it, and I'm going to do the same thing for my white fondant, um, and then set them aside. Once that's done, I'm going to cover my board completely with some gum glue and attach the squares one by one until I'm happy with the pattern. Now when you're attaching it, because this is a circle um, board, um, make sure that you don't get tempted to go in a circle. Just keep going straight and then like you see, just cut off all the excess because otherwise I realized that I started actually following like a square, I mean a circle pattern with the, um, with the cutouts and you don't want to do that. So definitely just put them in a square. Then when you're done with that, you're going to add some more gum glue and attach your cake to the board and do the same for your jukebox machine. Just attach it to the front. Once 
Once that's done, I have a wilted mat that I am going to use to um, make some pearls and then attach it to the bottom. And then I wanted some funky retro um, glasses, uh, so I drew a pattern on a piece of um, what is this parchment paper and then I'm going to use that to um, cut out a piece of red fondant Then I'm going to use the middle of it and cut out a piece of like a paler pink. Well actually this is red and this is pink so I'm just going to cut out a piece of pink fondant and I'm going to adhere it to the middle. And then using some gum glue I'm going to attach some jajays, just white pearls, they're edible pearls, um, all around the glasses so that it could add a little bit of um, contrast and more decoration. These are the final glasses. Just set them aside to dry. Um, using a plunger cutter, I really honestly don't remember where I bought this, um, but I think you could just like look online for plunger cutters. I have a star shape that I'm going to cut out some black fondant and put it all over the cake. And then I am writing the word Sandra with um, edible marker. And I'm going to conceal an error. <laughs> with a red star but we'll just pretend that it was meant to be there um, and then with just the red um, fondant I am going to cut out the message on the board or if you don't have a message you can leave the board as is and Sandra was turning 50 so um, I decided to put uh, 50s away and then I have this um, really cool uh, mold that makes um, lipstick and I'm going to link it for you guys below if I can find where I bought it and yeah I'm just using that to make some lipstick and just glue it to the side of the cake because the pink ladies are really fond of lipstick <laughs> and then I am going to make the signature grease comb um, so I just have a little comb here that obviously I've washed and I'm going to use it with a uh, rolling pin to indent a mark on my fondant and then I'm going to cut off all the excess and ta-da! You have a comb. So this is what it looks like. I'm using some gum glue to attach everything to my cake and I am also going to use some picks, toothpicks to attach the records that are at the top and the glasses um, at the top of the cake and that's it you guys this is how I made this retro or 50s inspired um, grease cake so if you like this video definitely give it a thumbs up because lots more are coming your way definitely share it and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so if you click on this annotation right over there you can find my last video i am on instagram as well as on facebook all my socials are at Janie sweets Alrighty, guys that is it for this week's tutorial love you talk to you next time